Hey, what is going on guys? Thank you for joining me again here on Exploit Academy. In this video, we're gonna look at creating persistence or otherwise known as maintaining access on a target machine by using the Windows registry. Let's check it out. All right, everybody. So for this example, I created a virtual lab inside a VMware workstation where I have two machines running and open right now. One is the Kali Linux machine, which is, of course, our attacker box. And then I have a Windows 10 machine acting as our victim. Now, because this video is focused on persistence, I already went ahead and exploited that machine and got a shell. So you can see here I have a interpreter shell, which for example, if I were to drop into a regular shell and run hostname, it comes up as Windows 10 PC. And to verify that I have a shell on this Windows 10 host, I can just run hostname and you can see I get Windows 10 PC. So I have an active shell on this host. Now, persistence is important because what if this Windows 10 host were to shut down their computer, right? What if the user logged off, shut down a computer, whatever, that would kill the connection to our host. So how do we make sure that even if the computer shuts down, if it boots back up, we can maintain our access? Now, this is very obviously very important in a pen test. So one of the ways you can do that is by adding a key inside the Windows registry. Now, I want to show you on this Windows 10 host what we're about to do. So I'm going to open up uh, the registry editor by typing in reg down here on the search and open this up. So we are going to add a value inside this HKEY local machine. And if we go to software, down to Microsoft, down to, let's see, Windows should be down here. And then inside of current version, which is right here, I'm gonna explain this out a little bit. And then inside of run, right here. So. You can see I already have a value right here. That's because I was testing this obviously before I made the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, delete that. So, but we are going to add a value right here that points to our backdoor payload, which at login would connect back to our Kali machine. So to do that, you obviously have to create a backdoor first or a um, payload that you would upload to your host machine. So as you can see, if I go to my C directory, I have this backdoor file right here, which is just a simple backdoor that I created in MSF Venom. Um, I have a separate video on that, which I will link below if you want to check that out. But you basically just create a reverse TCP connection back to Kali um, in a form of an executable. And I uploaded that to this Windows 10 host. Okay, so how do I use that payload to create persistence? So to add a value into that startup location, we're gonna type in registry add HKLM, and we're basically just gonna go back to that path that I just showed you. So that's gonna be in software, Microsoft, Windows, current version, run. And then we're gonna use slash V to give our entry a name, which I'm just gonna use test for this tag D to point to our back door or your payload. So mine is in C slash back door dot exe. And then we're gonna use slash F to force this entry. Now, if you don't use slash F, it's gonna come up with a message on the uh, Windows 10 host and it might not work because there's a dialogue blocking the entry. So because you're doing it on a terminal, you're gonna want to use the slash F force method. So let's go ahead and add an entry. And you can see here the operation completed successfully. So again, um, I didn't mean to close out of that. I'm going to open this up. Okay, right here. So you can see I have a new test value added into the registry that points to our backdoor file created in the C directory. Okay. So now let's go ahead and kill this session I have on that host. Go ahead and clear that out if I can type. Okay, so right here, 
we are waiting to establish a connection on the Windows 10 host. So let's go ahead and restart the host right here and see if we can get a connection back on our Kali machine. Okay, so we are booted up. I am logging into the John Doe account. And let's just give it a little bit of time to load into Windows. And usually it just takes a couple seconds after. It's usually pretty fast. Okay, so now that we're loaded in, just give it a couple seconds. There we go, sending stage, interpreter session five open. So I do now have a session on this host. If I were to type in host name, oh, let's drop into regular shell first. If I were to type in host name, you can see we have the Windows 10 PC. So that is how you create persistence using the registry editor. And that guys is how you create persistence on a Windows 10 host by modifying the registry. Now, if you guys have any kind of questions, feel free to drop a comment. I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. If you want to show your support, again, drop a comment. All the kind words are appreciated and honestly is what drives me to create more content. So if you found this video useful, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.